All right, what's up, Hot Squad? This is man, Taurus Hot back in the tube, and welcome back to another weekly dose of Hot Bangers, baby. So, yes, Hot Squad, I'm finally all caught up to my Hot Bangers I chance to do all these few weeks ago. So, I've been having a lot of personal stuff going on around me, and it really kind of put a hold, trying to get as much done before, you know, I go back to college on Wednesday the 14th. So, it's, uh, it was rough. It was actually pretty rough trying to get these up. But overall, I've cooked most of them. I'm all caught up. So, I'm finally getting a chance to do some fresh new hot bangers. So, Hot Squad, we're going finally, finally back to recaps once again. And I actually have three recaps, by the way, which I don't got too much. So, I want to get through this week before I go back to college. And, you know, college is going to be extremely rough because I have homework and I have work. And I have this, so I'll try to get as much done. But going back to the scheduling. So today, Hot Squad, this was meant to be scheduled last week. So we're going to check out Castle's recap of Transforming Judges of the Fallen. And this one's called When Optimus Respawn and Cook All These Decepticons. So yes, of course, this is another Transforming Judges of the Fallen recap. I think I've reacted to Chaijutsu's recap of it. Love that one. So hey, why not? I was like, shoot, I'd like to see people's pictures on this. So <laughs> it's going to be absolutely hilarious because I love Casper's recaps. It's freaking hilarious. He, this dude is hilarious. So Hot Squad, what we're going to do, we're going to jump right into it, waste no time. We're going to watch Casper's recap, but Transformers, original phone right now. Let's check it out. It's about to go down. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. So we start off with Sam on the phone with Michaela talking freaky straight Kevin Gates. I had my shirt off. And I was holding my pot in the baby, and his baby tried to suck my breast. Wait, wait. <laughs> what? And then bro starts holding what? up his G-Star hoodie like he won the damn NBA Finals in that hoop. And I can't even blame him. Bro was going through hell in that hoodie. But the slipper <laughs> from the queue falls out and then he picks it up. And after that, Sam genuinely starts tweaking. Because we speak <laughs> yeah. to him at college and look at bro. He ain't class straight glitching. Looking like Demi Lovato when she ain't had her daily <laughs> dose of crack. And God then Sam damn. roommate starts moving like flight when he sees Chris from Mr. Beast. Looking at Sam oh, like no. he's a black man from the 60s. Because he realized he got a room with a crackhead. But Sam goes God up to damn. the board and he starts Shitting on a professor, hit him with that. What you know about this, unk nigga? You ain't Neil deGrasse Tyson. I won't be embarrassed in front of my sugar mama. Sugar <laughs> mama. And bro wasn't even mad that Sam got the right answer. He was mad because Sam was embarrassing him in front of the hoes. You a teacher. Damn. You your students. What are you doing? Right, this right. This ass man getting his ear talking about, I'm the alpha. <laughs> and the Omega. <laughs> like, bro, what is this, Teen Wolf? Niggas be doing anything to impress the hoes. <laughs> So we fast forward a little bit and right after Sam got done tweaking, this girl followed Sam all the way to their room. Kicks Oh, that's Will Trent, by the way. That's that after we played Will Trent. I didn't know he was in this. Bro's roommate out and then starts trying to get my boy some of that Bill secret stuff. Throwing him on the bed and slamming him down. And meanwhile, Michaela is boarding a plane with Willie, who was just trying to steal the sliver like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> meanwhile, Sam in a bedroom getting assaulted, I think. And then yeah, a metal tail starts coming out of her pants. And that's when Michaela pulls up. Caught that nigga in the act, bro. Gets up quick as hell, hitting her with the infamous cheater line. I am not the same man I was five <laughs> seconds ago, baby girl. Straight up lying through his teeth and under different circumstances this might be every man's dream but nah she grabs this nigga by the throat giving yeah. him that vegeta treatment and starts ragdolling him at a wall and uh she ain't done swings him at a tv and then lifts him up and throws him making him high five the wall with his back him and scolios is about to be best friends and then michaela turns around because it's sounding like one of diddy parties up in there and this hoe is turning into a full-on decepticon and then like shakur stevenson in a fight they start to run so she booms the hallway for no reason like yeah. The door was right there, but all right. And since I know the property damage is going to be insane on this video, we finna put up a counter. That's number one. So they run and hide yep. in the library, and she instantly came in and boomed that bitch. Number two yep. already. And then she stopped. God love them Michael Bay explosions, yeah. Starts blowing up all the bookshelves in that hole looking for Sam. And I know Floyd Mayweather is somewhere happy as hell right now. I'd be mad too if I had a third grade reading level. Hey, boy, how you doing? So streets are saying you read under a third grade level. We just wanted to know, is that true? Blue, green, purple. <laughs> Stupid. That's all I know. I'm Money Mayweather. Yeah, this is a short bus rider. So they turn into you say Bolt getting the hell up out of there. And then Michaela starts showing off her criminal prowess. Because if y'all don't remember in the first movie, her pops had her out there boosting cars at age 10. Motherfucker yes. was training his daughter to be the next Dominic Toretto. Alice Next video, by the way. Okay, I can't wait to see your recap for Karate Kid.
proceeds to jump on the car and stick her tongue through the window and one could only guess her breath smell like absolute shit because Michaela starts whipping that bitch putting it into reverse treating that hole like a hellcat and spinning it and then ramps right into a hole and now it's GG's for one of Bill Cosby robots who had a good run but not a great one but it turns out she was just a warm up because yep. an entire military plane puts a spear through their car and as they get them lifted up they get hit by a damn car and that whole sequence counts that's number three so yeah. the Decepticons carry them and drop them into a building like a hundred feet in the air and bro y'all gotta see this there is no way in hell they survived this exactly <laughs> like this should have been dead but okay that's an instant case of CTE. These okay. niggas' brains should be mush. And then the car gets split open and Starscream walk up to bro, spits in his face about three times, mad disrespectful. Maybe, no. And I would tell him to swing off, bro, but he 10 feet and raw weight pounds of pure metal. <laughs> that shit gonna have his fingers looking like SpongeBob. Damn. And that's when Megatron pops up out of nowhere like a father on draft day. And he was like, come on over here. I just want to talk to you. you remember me, right? Hell no, who is you? And then he grabs bro, throws him off the stairs and makes him high five the rock with his back. And bro finna be walking like a tight end after this movie straight limping and then Michaela and his roommate start yelling down to him asking if he okay but Sam over here clutching his back like what's wrong okay when I can't get it out <laughs> Yeah. So Megatron walks over to Sam, stands over him, and holds his hands down. And bro talking sketchy as hell. You so freaky ass. So Scalpel gets all up in Sam's face, scanning him. But Sam started blowing in his face. And Scalpel realizing that Sam must have been kissing sexy red earlier, calls in the big guns. His assistant to plunge in the depths of that ass inside his mouth. And while he's in there, he starts to scan his brain for info on the location of the tomb of primes. But that's still some nasty ass shit. And after after they got done showing while Sam was the throat goat, Scalpel starts throat trying to extract the information from Sam's brain by cutting into it, and then Optimus drops down and he runs through a wall, instantly puts on a shiesty, and you know he finna cook. He shoots at Starscream, and bro instantly started hiding. Like, bro, we can see you. All he did was take a step back, and oh, I ain't forget. That's number four. But we skipped the Optimus, he jumps over the rail and missing two shots, straight Stormtrooper, and then that's when he ups the Uzi, shoots Megatron, but he swings his body to the side, and that's when Starscream screen comes in for the third party but optimus was like who the fuck is that guy <laughs> back hands bro shoots him twice in the body and then he starts flipping out the way hits him in the leg and while bro trying to fly away booms him out the window and instantly turns to megatron and then optimus shoots a bullet in <laughs> <laughs> and then booms Megatron right in the chest making bro high five the building with his back while B was already getting the hell up out of there. Megatron starts running away from the ass whooping but Optimus on chase down. Fast forward and we get to the forest and look at Megatron in the back. Nigga was straight up camping waiting for Optimus. He shoots Optimus in the back and then tackles him like a prime Ray Lewis and they start tumbling down. And Sam just in the thick of it. He a regular human fighting alien wars. Like bro how is it my fault my great grandfather wanted to be damn Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Nigga. After they stop rolling, shit took a long time, not gonna lie. Optimus hits bro with an uppercut, spins around for no reason at all, and then gets tackled out the air again. Got my son eating straight dirt, and then Sam starts doing his best Gohan impression, hiding again. And I can't even blame bro, this is not my war. But Optimus starts going to work, picking up a fucking tree and smacking Megatron over the head with it. And then he weaves the right, hits bro in the spine with a left, got Megatron reaching out like a 90 singer, but he moves the right cleanly and hits his ass with a right. Look at the way he cocked that bitch back. He was trying to take bro whole head off. As he got Megatron rolling back, he still teeing off on bro. Stabs him in the shoulder, got him taking a knee, and then while he down, elbows bro in the mouth. Spins his body to the side and then slams his ass on the ground. But then Megatron starts calling in the Decepticons like the hoe he is. Have him spawn in like- Oh, soon, okay. Civil War. Can't wait for that one. And then all the Decepticons came out like the Prime Shield out of nowhere. So in the back, you can clearly see Megatron fighting Prime, and bro immediately turns his attention to Sam. Like, bro. I'm like, what is he fucking <laughs> for? But Optimus tackles him, dumps him on his head, and then Megatron goes for a kick. Prime catches it, and then elbows that hope. Gonna have his ass walking like Uncle Jerome from Snowfall. While Megatron taking a knee, Optimus knees him in a jaw, and then Starscream comes out the third party again. So Optimus grabs bro, throws him down, elbows him, and somehow 
out since his Megatron in the back and then kicks the shit out of Megatron, <laughs> making bro fly out of frame. And bro, this right here is egregious. Picks up Starscream while he's shooting, throws him in the air and kicks him in the hey. mouth. And after that, this is where shit went downhill. Keep in mind, Optimus is getting jumped. Who gonna help, bro? Sam? Nobody. No. No. But because the Autobots taking as much time as it takes for yeah. Wave to eat a salad, shit never gonna happen. Optimus starts getting jumped. Bad. He rocks yes. Megatron, but that shit dies so quick because bro gets rocked by Starscream right back. And then bro right here grabs him by the head and elbows him. And then he starts trying to cut him in the stomach. And then Optimus just starts getting jumped. And I remember as a kid watching this movie, I was wondering what an Autobots are. But they nowhere to be found. How did a semi-truck beat y'all here? They gotta be trolling. Megatron grabs him, picks his ass up, and throws him at a tree. And I'm guessing Megatron must have been watching some of that John Jones hitting Optimus with a spinning roundhouse. And who the fuck got these 28 feet robots moving like Bruce Lee? Cybertronian training must be crazy. And then Sam starts yelling in the back to Optimus like, Get up! And that's when Starscream shoots Optimus. Megatron elbows him and then just booms his ass right into Sam. And bro, I'm still trying to figure out what, what Sam do. do. Nigga was just born into the wrong side of the family. Straight Kim Kardashian son. Nigga gonna Man. walk up to Lil Bro in school and call his mama industry blunt. And realistically, yes. what is he gonna do about it? Damn Optimus still on one knee tells them <laughs> and he was not playing. Staff starts screaming the arm, throws him, and then cuts off bro's propeller, making Megatron hit the will you marry me in the back. He smacks bro away and then grabs Starscream, flips over his back, making him boom bro behind him. And then he throws him. Even got Sam in the back watching, realizing this one of the greatest sequences of all time. He turns Starscream into a donut and shoulder bumps yeah. his ass out of frame. And he continues cooking, stabbing Megatron in the knee, rips his shit out, and then in the stomach. And oh, he ain't done. Grabs bro's head and damn, he got him on all fours. And then he stabs bro in the shoulder, making him look up at Prime, but he was like, fuck you on that bitch. This bro with the right and then follows up with a left. And then he immediately starts cooking Starscream, turning his ass into straight scrap metal, grabbing bro arm, breaking that hole up, and then backhanding him with it. And bro in the back was ready to sneak, but Optimus was like, we do not care. Bro. Jumps on bro, hooks his eye, and rips his entire face off. And even though bro is clearly dead, look at his body, shit straight went. Yeah, Optimus hops down, grabs bro's thrusters, and throws him down, talking mad shit while calling him a piece of tin. Like, damn, that friendly fire go crazy. That's like me calling my African homie Mr. Popo or shit. <laughs> and then after seeing Optimus go all out for five straight minutes, he loses sight looking for the snow bunny. And because snow Megatron bunny. is a pussy, he straight up sneaks, bro, and blows his ass up. Yeah. And when I tell you the fall and wasted no time, sorriest villain of all time. Nigga heard mm -hmm. Optimus was dead, got out of his chair immediately talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> but Optimus That's actually Tony Todd aka Candyman voice in the Fallen by the way Just tells Sam to run and his ass wasted no time getting up out of there And finally the Autobots arrive after Optimus done got packed up and Sam looking like he was in <laughs> World War 1 They make the Decepticons leave but Give me that shit nigga <laughs> That's all the screen time Oh by the way Tony Todd was in the Rock Michael Bay second movie by the way It just hit me y'all get so after that the decepticons under the order of the fallen whole ass kidnap sam's parents and takes over all the communications in the world using tvs radios and everything hmm. and this just shows that the decepticons some pieces of shit because yeah. after that they display sam's whole government name yeah, and social security name. on national mm -hmm. news and send a worldwide manhunt after a damn 18 year old because <laughs> the fallen was out here snitching <laughs> told they ass if y'all don't find this kid and turn him into me and basically sentence him to death i'm gonna move the hell out of this entire planet and oh, by the way, aliens are real. They lying to you. Bro, it's literally a straight up rat. What did you gain from that? So we fast forward and the Decepticons are looking for Sam because they know he's the one that can bring back Optimus. And what's crazy to me is how much Optimus really had these boys shook. First, the Fallen was planning on his downfall. Now they spawn camp and trying to make sure my son don't come back. I'm fine. So Sam and McKay. Uh, by the way, if you see me looking back and forth from my camera, I'm, I'm making sure it don't blur because I, I did sit, saw my camera blur a few seconds ago. Hide it in this building, and a Decepticon fly comes in. So Sam, dumbass, gonna grab it and kill it. And that's when Starscream rips off the building immediately, and they start booking it. While they're getting shot in the back by two whole ass Decepticons, like, bro, what did they do? 
<laughs> yeah. attempt to blow them up, but eventually they get away unscathed, if you could even call it that, because they treat these two like Autobots, like my nigga, chill. <laughs> so bro right here tells Rampage to set the trap using Sam's parents, while Rabbit circling around and ready for the signal to turn the ass into ground beef. But these motherfuckers start running right towards Sam and Michaela, leading the ops right to them. And usually white people separate in movies. I was really <laughs> confused about this one. Yeah, man. And that's when Rampage jumps over that hole, shoots at Michaela for no reason, and starts sticking up Sam's parents for no reason. And that's when Sam dad tell him to run and be realistic. Where is he gonna run to, my right, nigga? Right, right. So Sam true. like, shut up, nigga. They don't want you. Yeah. But I know what they want. Pulls out that dirty ass sock, waving that bitch in front of his face like restaurant owners be doing raw wave, talking oh, to him like, I know you want this. I know you do. While being that back ready to sneak his ass. But Sam was really trolling. Calls in B to make his superhero interest. B drops off high ground, kicking bro in the head, and then he starts whipping shit around him. Kick had him spasm. But he finally stops being dazed. Jumps in the air and kicks B in a jaw. Made my son do a whole 180. And then he starts contributing to that Cybertronian on Cybertronian crime. Whipping B in the back, but B moving like MLK now. My son got a dream. Put it on a shiesty and now it's go time. Elbows his whip away and hits bro with a filthy left. And now he's showing he weave nation. Dodging the yep. right kicks bro in the stomach and look at bro's face. Shit knocked the wind out of his ass. He slaps B away, but my son don't know when to quit. Jumps on bro, knees him in the back of the head, and uses this nigga back as a parachute down to the ground. Mm. He moving different, but oh nah, he ain't done. Grabs his arm, breaks that hole, got him screaming out, and then steps on his arm. Damn, be cooking. But today it seems like everybody on Sneak Nation timing. Cause Ravage creeping around the back like a fucking foot clan soldier. And the <laughs> angles ain't right, but from what I can see, B back there cooking his ass. Rabbit jumps on B trying to rip my son Shiesty <laughs> off, but the way B protecting that bitch, you think he just came from super what cuts, the hell? but B grabs his ass, spins around for no reason at all, and then rips bro's spine mm. from out his body, and then he smacks Rampage with it and hits him with the yeah. right, and Optimus and B using the same move in the same movie as so elite, and then yeah. B jumps over bro, grabs him by both arms, knees him in the back, and B gotta chill, he gonna have bro walking like Cobra from Planet of the Apes, yes. and then he extends his arm and kicks the shit out of him, breaking off both his arms as he floats down while B standing over him. and then he mm. immediately looks over at Michaela giving her the nod. He trying to stick his exhaust pipe in her f oh, and no. tells his parents to no. get the hell out of there cause he finna go to work yeah. and his pop's not listening like bro this is not your movie what are you gonna do? <laughs> that was a funny and you wanted to run there that was hilarious that was great. Eventually they leave and we fast forward but they run into a literal war zone this shit really crazy look at how this Decepticon moving that's how I think I be in laser tag be straight up try hard against 12 year olds <laughs> Megatron spots Sam and Michaela and bro instantly locked in and then he starts getting shot and I just know if he didn't he was gonna try to sneak my son Sam in the back just like he did Optimus no honor at all and then that starts covering fire for them and I'm not gonna lie they piecing they ass up niggas losing to a bunch of 18 year olds trying to get that Hellcat embarrassing <laughs> But Sam and Ned start running to Optimus to revive him. But these motherfuckers drop an entire missile strike on every human and Autobot yep. in the area. And that's when Megatron pops up out the cut and tries to boom Sam. And somehow he hits, bro, making him do Gabby Douglas flips in the air and pass out after that. And even yep. Stevie Wonder could see how bad it was looking for Megatron. Because they start jumping the hell out of him. So bad he had to run away. We cut to Sam and he over there dead. Look at bro's leg. This Damn. shit is not a joke. Michaela starts telling bro how much she love him. But he knocked out dreaming about another. Bitch. Bro did not change. He was definitely gonna go through with it. Cause if Michaela didn't walk in, it's safe to say Sam would be nutless. But the mission nutless. was too important. He ain't listening to none of that. Because inside of his mind, he talking to all the past primes. And basically they tell Sam that it's his destiny to save Optimus. So he wakes up, grabs the matrix, and stabs it into Optimus Mark, and it's GG's. Except when in doubt, there's always a nigga that will come in hating. The yeah. fallen literally oh, yeah. beams down and robs Optimus of his matrix and disappears, <laughs> running away to go fight some NPC soldiers with low power levels. <laughs> this is how you know he a fraud. He been dodging Optimus the whole movie, but nah, he finna get the full course now. The fall emerges the Matrix with the machine and they start booming at him. But he was like, I got something for that ass. Started moving like pain and reverse armor yeah. pushed everything in the surrounding area. And then he drops the ass. And not only is bro a pussy, but this nigga is pure evil. He yes. just out here doing this shit for the love of the game. Yeah. This guy's really out here like, yeah, yesterday I slapped a toddler. And I threw yes. a honey bun at a Homeless man back. What? A nigga like me, man. This is. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. And this shit right here really <laughs> brings a tear to my eye. Cause Jeff Fire gives Optimus his gear, told my nigga. Promise. And you will have a power you've never known. And ripped out his spark and died like a G. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. 
the ship means something to me, man. Yep. And then I Jet fire your best side character. R.I.P. Optimus unlocks that Zenkai boost. Flies up in the air straight to the Fallen. And the Fallen literally turned into Toph. Because bro just starts <laughs> earthbending. Grown as Decepticon playing with rocks. Optimus yep. comes in, tackles the Fallen. And while he flying back, shoots the machine. Blowing that bitch up. What I'm talking about? Yep. That's why he's in me, man. That's, That's why he's the goat. Oh, no. Optimus in the Fallen falls to the ground and the Fallen talking crazy like Duh, like your brother And Optimus not going for none of that Booms his ass into a wall yeah. Grabs bro by the back of the head Straight up sunning this nigga And look at Megatron in the back Bro been sneaking all day You not tired? The Fallen uppercuts Optimus And then Megatron jumps on his it's back And he carrying the Fallen too You put Rod Wave on that bitch Optimus instantly flying straight down He throws the Fallen off of him at the wall And then he starts to drop off Megatron next He backhands Optimus in the neck But he recovers and takes the beam to the chest shit did no damage and then he grabs megatron's arm twists that shit breaking it and turns and making it face him and shoots his face off yeah. and bro was not playing when he said his parts was gonna have optimus moving crazy and then he spawns behind him smacks bro's arm and cuts that bitch off and he ain't done doing a james harden step back turns his thrusters into cannons and booms his ass into two walls and look at what megatron does next <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time to I saw his story his work. So his story starts great though. So the Fallen. Optimus flips out the way for no reason. Straight Duke Dennis and then splits the block in half and starts unloading the clipping, bro. And look at the hand in the air. I told y'all he was a bitch-made villain. Yeah. Optimus cuts through bro's hand straight to his jaw, but mm. the Fallen grabs him, twists his arm, elbows it, then grabs Optimus' face, ripping off his thruster and slapping him in the face with it. And hey, at this point, they running out of ideas. This the third time I seen somebody do this today. This shit is like Clay in an elimination mm. game. It's getting yeah. hard to watch. They yeah. start struggling and Optimus grabs bro's spear and stabs him through the neck with it. Gonna have his ass sounding like Lil Wayne or Helen Keller. Oh, wait. And then he throws him at a wall. And look at what Optimus says to bro. Leave your face. And oh, no, nah, he should have kept that shit on. Nigga, child. And while bro running away, Optimus sticks his hand through his back, rips out his spark, got his ass like... And he just glided down the wall, <laughs> slumped night. over. And you know Optimus had to drop a cold-ass bar while his op is dead, so get it out, bro. Again. Megatron and start screaming at back having a who's more bitch made off this bro really sitting over here trying to make Megatron feel better talking about not to call you a coward master but sometimes cowards survive so I'm getting a fuck about it yes. and then they both dip out like I said no honor but I'm picking a karate kid next that ass whooping needs to be talked about yes. so I'll see y'all soon peace definitely can't wait for that one man definitely can't wait oh man this was a great recap Casper, let us recap. Shout out to you, man. Keep up the great work with these recaps, man. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, to see Richard fall him gets him like a couple of times, whatnot. I still, you know, don't like the move at all. It has its moments and whatnot, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Oh no, it was a disappointment, very much a disappointment, especially coming after the first Transformers. So yeah, overall, do a recap, Casper. We keep up the great work with these, man. Love it, love it, love it. So Hot Squad, that is my conclusion on my Hot Banger reaction to Casper's. Transformers versus Forms recap. So you enjoyed this, please hit the button, come share your thoughts. What's your favorite Transformers movie? How old was you when you saw Transformers versus the Fallen? And um, any movie regardless of Transformers, what age were you when you ever see every single one of them? So that's why please stay tuned because I have another Hot Banger recap coming your way in a few moments. And that is Zephyr's X-Men Origins Wolverine recap. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned.